Hey guys, Matt here again for udesly.com. What I'm going to show you in this video is go over our Slider Pro widget for Webflow. This allows you to add a completely custom and unique slider to your website. We have two samples of this. We have a full screen which uses keyboard shortcuts to go next and back, as well as pause using the spacebar. And of course we have a lot of custom controls on top of this including custom next buttons and slider navigation indicators. This widget uses the native slider inside of Webflow in conjunction with all of the custom attributes and elements from udesly.com to create a really nice and professional looking slider. We also have an example here which can be used within your page and pauses when you hover inside of the slider. We also have the custom elements for your slider indicators as well. And we also have another example down here just to show you what you can do with your slider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply clone this project and show you how you can copy and paste onto your existing project. Before then going over and showing you how you can apply it to a custom slider you may have already created using the attributes and the documentation to create it from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this project and then when this is loaded, you'll be created with two samples, what I've just showed you. If you go to the pages, you'll see sample one, which is the full screen, and sample two, which is the smaller one. I want this, to, this one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this. Simply click into that, and then go over to the Slider Pro wrapper there, and just simply copy that, head over to your project, and simply paste it into the area that you want. I've pasted it inside of that div there, I'm just going to take that out of there like so, and then I'm just going to delete that picture underneath. Then if you want to customise your slider you can go ahead and do that, I'm just changing any of these elements inside of here, including the progress bar at the top and the size of each individual slide. Now what we want to do is we want to add the custom script inside of this page, so simply go back to the documentation. You want to highlight this section here and just simply copy it. Go over to your project, go to your pages, go to the settings and scroll all the way down to the bottom and paste it inside of this body tag there. Hit save. Then you want to do is just want to simply publish that page like so. And then when we go ahead and view that page there, you'll see our custom slider is all there working. And we can hover inside up there to pause it. We can hit the pause and play button there and we can go ahead and change our slide using there. Now you can see that we have got some CSS issues here because this is pulling from our styles, but you can go ahead and fix that inside of your Webflow project and you can go ahead and customize all the slides. You can add any slides you want by simply going to the slider like you would normally do and just add a new slide like so. So there you go, that is how simple it is to copy and paste the Slider Pro widget and get started on your existing Webflow project. A bit of CSS tweaking, you can see that we have changed the colour of our bar at the top. I've changed my icons for the pause and play. I've also changed the images and I've also changed the font colour for our slider navigation. If you need help or support with any of our products or you just have any technical questions that you want to get answered, we do have our help center which will help with any of your queries. We also have a Facebook community group which we are extremely active on there and I myself do try my best to reply to each and every one of you, post design inspiration and all of that good stuff. Anyway, my name has been Matt, I hope you got all the best from this video tutorial and I will catch you guys in the next one.